Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Logic. This video is all about enthymemes. What is an enthymeme? An enthymeme is a kind of argument that is missing something, a premise or a conclusion. In this video, you will learn how to identify the missing piece of the argument, translate it, and check it for validity. Now, you are very close to receiving your purple belt in logic. Enthymemes. Here's an example. Press pause if you need more time, and here's another example. The first argument is missing a conclusion. The second argument is missing a premise. Now, to identify what is missing, there are a few hints. One, if there are two statements joined together by a conjunction, and, but, etc., the missing statement is probably a conclusion. Look at the first example. See the two statements joined together with a conjunction and? The missing statement is a conclusion. The conclusion is, this apple is good to eat. The second hint is, if the enthymeme contains a premise indicator word or a conclusion indicator word, the missing statement is probably a premise. Look at this example. Notice the premise indicator word because. The missing statement is a premise. The premise is Dallas is a large city. Here's another example. Notice the enthymeme contains the conclusion indicator word so. Again, the enthymeme is missing a premise. The pr missing premise is active volcanoes are dangerous places to live. Let's work a practice problem. For this enthymeme, What's missing? The premise or conclusion? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. The premise. Notice the indicator word. Next, choose the correct missing premise. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This is the correct premise. Next practice problem. Is the missing statement a premise or conclusion? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Conclusion. Notice the conjunction word and. Next, choose the correct conclusion. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This is the correct conclusion. Next practice problem. Is the missing statement a premise or conclusion? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Premise. Notice the indicator word. Next, choose the correct premise. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This is the correct premise. Next practice problem. Is the missing statement a premise or a conclusion? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Conclusion. Notice the conjunction word and. Next, Choose the correct conclusion. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This is the correct conclusion. Next practice problem. Is the missing statement a premise or a conclusion? Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. Conclusion. Notice the conjunction word, furthermore. Next, choose the correct conclusion. Press pause if you need more time. The answer will appear in 3, 2, 1. This is the correct conclusion. Very good job on those practice problems. Now that you know how to insert the missing statement into the enthymeme, the next step is to translate them into standard form categorical syllogisms and then test them for validity. See the previous lesson for instructions on how to translate ordinary language into categorical syllogisms. And congratulations. One more lesson and then you will receive your purple belt in logic. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.